So you're an iron warrior. Great. Another psycho marine. Chaos marine. Whatever. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna go on a rant about sadistic torture methods or have a sudden bout of homicidal rage, are you? Because I've had enough of that from the other guys. Maybe not the torturing. Don't insult me. I am not a blood-crazed beast or a madman. Well, you are a psycho marine, so you do engage in excessive <laughs> acts of cruelty, marine. right? Cruelty is your word. A part of your morality. An irrational, pointless consideration standing in the way of carrying out efficient warfare. It ha okay, I mean, but if you think about it, he's not wrong. But in our day and age, we would definitely consider what the characters in uh, Warhammer 40k have to do uh, as as very, very cruel. Uh, whereas for them, it's just it's just a Tuesday. It's uh, just a Tuesday for them. So, um, I mean, he's not wrong, but everyone else would be like pretty disturbed by what other what the the space marines have to do uh, and uh and especially the chaos space marines i think they go a little more hardcore than they need to but i can't like separate one legion from the others because they're pretty much they all have to go really hardcore you know to put it lightly has no place on the battlefield ah so you're just dispassionate about your cruelty i'm not sure that's better <laughs> well, moving on. How would you describe your method of war? Pragmatic, efficient, relentless, and unyielding. Yep, that's pretty. Death, it. suffering, hardship, all irrelevant. Regardless of the circumstances, our objective will be achieved. You can count on that. All right. That's yeah, pretty intense. much. Uh. Why don't you tell me about your recruitment process? You wish to know about our You don't want to know that. There no, you don't want to know that so many aspirants to the Space Marine Legions. Holy cow. It's like what is it? It's only like I don't remember the numbers exactly, but if you have like a pool of 10 kids and oh, thank you mini death knight. Here you go. There you go. Thank you, Mitty Death Knight. There's the button. Um, it's like if you have a pool of 10 kids, it's like three of them survive that are like eligible to become a Space Marine, and then they have to go through surgery. Very well. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, that, that's not what I meant. Our most efficient method for replenishing our losses was the Oh, so you're just oh. going to keep going. Uh, oh, okay. The Demonculaba was a combination of the biological pro Why is he talking about this here? The Demonculaba- uh, uh, Demon- Blah blah blah. I can't say it without seeing the word. Demonculaba- <laughs> The Laba. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, um... <laughs> this is gonna be cre- Ooh, this is gonna be bad. Properties of gene seed and the warp's powerful energies. The Demonculaba were vessels that elevated normal humans into something actually useful. This isn't where I thought this was going. I, I didn't think this Human was going. Human females are altered by having their flesh stretched and mutated beyond normal limits. Oh. Becoming bloated, ugly oh. flesh things. But they serve their purpose. Ooh. Aspirants are surgically implanted within the confines of the female's flesh to Ew. facilitate the metamorphosis. When the demantialaba is ready to give birth, they are cut open to release the newly formed iron warrior. I didn't I know this. Death. Me of too. Course, the new marines <laughs> are born without skin, so we must sew. Wait, wait, wait. wait well, what? If I hear any more, I'm gonna lose my lunch. You have a weak stomach. No, I'm just a normal human. With I didn't know we were going to get into this today. I thought they were going to talk about how they they pick uh, a typical they they pick young like boys that are like really healthy that are compatible with their Primarchs gene seed that they then go through like a series of trials to make sure they are like the best and like the top 
physical condition, mental condition, everything that like a child can be in. And then they do like insane surgery on them where they implant the Primark's gene seed and it like uh, w like works with their DNA, makes them stronger, faster and makes them into the space Marines that they are. And like the surgery is really dangerous. But no, we had to talk about that right when my Raiders come in. I apologize, Raiders. I did not know they were going to talk about this. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's it, it, it's uh, way worse here. This is um OK. Yeah. Sorry about that, chat. <laughs> We've had better streams. Uh, at least this is the short video. <laughs> With normal human sensibilities. Oh, God. That's the problem. Look, don't get me wrong, the Empire commits its fair share of war crimes. Ah, uh, very what you're different. Describing is just necessary. Everyone started rebelling when the Empire was like, let's do, let's declare Exterminatus with the Death Star. And Warhammer, they're like, Exterminatus? Like, I I'm going to do an Exterminatus uh, right after lunch today. No big deal. <laughs> but usually those planets aren't full of innocent civilians sometimes they are but most of the time they have like really deadly enemy forces unless you're dante uh from devastate uh and uh he had to destroy a bunch of planets to try to stop high fleet leviathan from eating ball and then it's probably filled with civilians then it's bad it's fine it's fine it's fine don't worry about it <sighs> Whatever. Let's just move on, please. You're not gonna try and do that stuff here, are you? Oh. We lack access to enough savage morticians to conduct such an operation at this time. Oh. That's not a no. This yeah. conversation has become aimless. Am I hired or not? Well, I've hired a world eater and a night lord. So. <sighs> <laughs> if you've hired a world eater and a night lord, you're definitely um you're gonna hire an iron warrior. You you definitely will. Clearly I'm mentally unwell. Yes. Of course you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Commander, I have returned from my assignment. Here are the casualty reports. You're back already? Let me see <laughs> they that. They go fast. I... what? 45,000 casualties? <laughs> you just started the operation yesterday. Yeah. How did you lose so many men? Battle. Oh yeah, you think? I want details now. I utilized a battalion of stormtroopers you lent me by ordering full frontal charges on the enemy's fortifications. Yikes. I continued. I wonder where, um, I, I wonder if there's like a video that talks about this, um, stormtroopers versus just regular guardsmen to see where they stack up. I think Kriegers will definitely beat regular stormtroopers, but I'm curious to see, um, well, I'm curious to see how they perform against regular guardsmen. If there's like a simulation that someone made, I know they've done bigger simulations where it's like Star Warmer, Star Star Warmer, <laughs> Star Wars versus Warhammer. But that's a bunch of different factors, and obviously Warhammer wins. But I just want like regular dudes, regular dudes from each side who would win. With repeating waves of attack until the enemy's weapons began to overheat from constant fire. When they were weakened, I launched a final assault with the reserves. Finally, to break the enemy, I ordered an artillery barrage on the enemy position. And that is the battle report. I can't believe I have to ask this, but you did order a withdrawal before you started the barrage, right? <laughs> no. Of course not. The enemy could have regrouped. You fired upon your own troops? Yes. Which Classic Iron Warriors. Why does it matter? Wait. You won? 
Of course. In less than a day. Yep. Yes. They're that good. Huh. Well, they were just stormtroopers. I mean, we're basically recruited to die. Okay, carry on. <laughs> yep.